We recently saw a ton of buzz around Google's upcoming Gemini 3.0 release, which was originally expected this fall, but now, according to Google's CEO, it has been pushed back to December. At the same time, the OpenAI team seems to be preparing for something pretty big to counter it, possibly GPT 5.1 or even GPT 6. Just recently, four new mysterious variants appeared on Design Arena as well as LM Arena, named Willow, Cedar, Birch, and Oak, all named after wood types for some reason. Currently, you can now access them through Design Arena, which is kind of like LM Arena's web dev testing platform, but built specifically for UX and UI model experiments. And interestingly, you can even do the same with Web Dev Arena, where these models are also available for testing. Now, I will say the model quality is pretty impressive. Just like other GPT models, it doesn't just copy, it reimagines the app in GPT-5's distinctive design language. And in this case, it was able to create a Discord clone. It was specifically prompted to generate a one-on-one -on -one clone of Discord's UI, something that should be indistinguishable from the real thing, down to every single detail. You have all the servers with hovering animations. You also have the text spaces, like the different channels you also have the member list that showcases if a member is active or not and it did a great job in terms of generating that ui but i'll be honest i believe that the gemini 3.0 model still feels stronger overall especially with all of its model variants even the lithium flow model as well as the new checkpoints but overall these are designed optimized gpt5 variants possibly early builds of the GPT 5.1 or even GPT 6 that has been fine-tuned for creative and front-end tasks like generating layouts, visual mockups, and responsive designs, each model showing a distinct personality. The Willow model is a bit more artistic and it uses high reasoning, which excels in detailed organic UIs. The Cedar model is a bit more of a warm and balanced combination. It is great for branding as well as e-commerce designs. The Oak model is bold and structured and it's ideal for enterprise dashboards. And the Birch model is fast and minimal, strong for clean wireframes. Now, early tests are showing that the Willow model is leading in the pack, even outperforming GPT-5 High and Gemini 3's Lithium Flow in certain visual fidelity and aesthetic balance. But together, I feel like all of these models are definitely great in terms of its designing as well as its UI and UX code generation and it could be even an open source model who even knows and it leads me to think that what if this was an oss model that was fine-tuned and it was trained from an external company that's not open ai is your workday a constant tab switching marathon between chat gpt your docs or your sheets that is exactly why today i'm excited to showcase this new guide by hubspot called Elevate Your Workspace in 5 Minutes with Gemini. This free ebook is going to show you how to stop drowning in AI tools and finally bring the power of Gemini, Google's built-in AI assistant directly in your workspace. In just 5 minutes, you'll learn 3 quick win prompts to get Gemini's value instantly. You have 9 power features that save hour of context switching. The secret of Gemini's side panel and how you can get AI to help without leaving your document. And a breakdown of whether the $20 per month upgrade is actually worth it. This isn't theory. This is a tactical guide designed to help you turn Gemini from just another tool into your everyday productivity superpower. So while everyone else is jumping between tabs, you'll have AI built right into your workflow. So if you're ready to work smarter and not harder, download the HubSpot Elevate Your Workspace in 5 minutes with Gemini Guide today. It's completely free. You can grab your copy using the link in the description below and become a digital productivity powerhouse. And guys, I will tell you one thing. This is going to take you a quite a long time to generate things with Design Arena because right now there's a lot of users trying to get generations out of this GPT 5.1 or even GPT 6 model. But the quality that you'll receive is quite impressive. This is where it took approximately three minutes to generate this web page. And you can see the UI design for it looks absolutely amazing in comparison to what you would typically see from an AI generated landing page, which has the carousel of features, the testimonials, and obviously the pricing structure. This is something that is quite basic and at this point, it feels really, really old now. And you can just tell that it's AI generated. But something like this 
looks like it is a template from any sort of website builder and it looks pretty decent in my opinion. Also, you have the ability to export the code that is generated by these models off of Design Arena. So if you want to work on it and iterate further, you can definitely do so. And this was done completely for free and it took approximately 650 lines of code to generate that beautiful landing page. And the model that we saw was the Birch model, not even the best model, which is Willow, the high reasoning beast. And th that is the one that is speculated to be maybe GPT 5.1. And it is something that excels in artistic flowing designs. But the Birch model is something that does quite well for wireframes, prototyping, neutral, as well as precise websites with minimalistic outputs. And you can see that it did a pretty decent job. And in the other cases, it was all of the DeepSeek version 3.2 experimental model or something like Vercel's model, which I don't know which one this is. And by the way, if you want to refine that generation even further, you can actually prompt it to use that specific model. Say, for example, it was Birch. You can then prompt it again to iterate on another feature, which you can do directly rather than having multiple models work on it. In this case, I didn't even get any of the OpenAI models. So you got to be lucky sometimes to get that model, but there is a good chance since there's four different variants to land one of those new OpenAI variants. And remember, you can also access this off of Web Dev Arena. And in this case, this is the Willow model, and it was able to create a color palette generator, which looks pretty intuitive. It looks like a professional palette board, and it is something that did it quite rapidly. The speed of these models are pretty impressive, but it's coming to a point where we're seeing such great quality being outputted from these models. So this is really remarkable to see. Here is a CRM dashboard that it was able to generate and it looks pretty decent. It looks like a typical CRM dashboard. So it did get the job done, but it also added a deals board, which is great. And it added a contact page. So in a single shot in design arena, it was able to basically generate all of these different components. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. Overall, I'm just really happy to see that we're seeing more variants like this. I hope it's not like what we saw previously with the GPT-5 model where we saw incredible variants being showcased and then they basically downsized, downgraded all of those variants when they officially launched GPT-5. But now with GPT-5 high, it's a lot better, but it's still pretty expensive. But I just hope that with these new variants, it's not going to be downgraded once they officially release. But overall, it is pretty impressive. It is slightly on par with Gemini 3.0. I do give Gemini 3.0 a higher grade in comparison to these new variants, but that's because of the limitations that I see right now from this model because I can't access it in a better intuitive way like I did with the LM Arena with Lithium Flow. But overall, I'm really excited to see what OpenAI is doing here and it looks like they are definitely bouncing back. But that's basically it, guys. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the second channel if you haven't already. This is where me and my partners have been working on growing this channel to give you more daily AI news. Subscribe to the newsletter join the private discord, follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos. Sorry for not uploading yesterday. Yesterday was Halloween and the Blue Jays were playing, so I had to watch the World Series. But with that though, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.